Well, welcome. Nice to see you today. Welcome to Ashton Observatory. Come on in. Well, you're entering the south door of the observatory right now, and that's the door that we customarily use. People come up from the parking lot. We have side doors also, but this is the customary one. So this is our classroom, lobby, our domes, and interestingly, this, this was the first part of the observatory built back in 1983, the domes and this classroom, and then other parts were built on later, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So as people come in, there, we ask them to register. Uh, we have a little welcome sign and we, we keep data for the conservation board and for ourselves so that we know how many people are here and how they learned about us. So we ask people to, <coughs> to register. And then <coughs> we do have a few little interesting things. We, we do have a sky map here that young people like to look at. And the sky map, map actually can be set for the particular day in the particular month. Uh, so that we can set that and you can kind of imagine where the constellations are in the sky. And of course we do have donations and we run on donations, but we don't make a big deal of it. But we do invite people to contribute something if they can. So people are normally in here and we invite people to look around and we do have some interesting things here in our little lobby, formerly our classroom. And I can just point out for you a couple of things, some of our telescopes and these are used out in the yard normally. This happens to be, and when I, I'll talk about telescopes in, as we go through, uh, and telescopes, I'll tell about the type and the mounting and their various kinds, and so we'll, we'll sort of go over that. This happens to be a 10 inch reflector. And when we talk about the reflector, it's a type of telescope, and a reflecting telescope or Newtonian reflector has a mirror down in the bottom of the telescope has another mirror in the, the telescope up here that reflects. So the light comes in, hits the mirror there, goes up and bounces here, and you look through the eyepiece to look at the stars. So that's a reflector. The second thing is that the type of mount, and there are various kinds of mounts. This happens to be a mounting that you can adjust for the azimuth, the direction it's pointing, and for the altitude, but it's a special kind of alt as they call it, mount and it's called the Dobsonian because it's a very simple mount, very portable and easy to set up. It's one of the favorites of people that uh, do a lot of observing and for a first telescope, it's one of the best. So we'll just go down. This is another small reflector. The thing that's neat about this is it's all homemade. Actually, one of our members ground the mirror many years ago and we finished the telescope and we use it out in the yard and kids like it particularly because it's their size and it's excellent optics. This is a commercial, by the way, the mount is also a Dobsonian mount. This is a commercial one, it's owned by one of our members. And this happens to have a little extra feature in that it has an electronic system on it that tells you where the telescope is at. It's a little accessory and it works pretty well. This is an antique, it's a mid 70s reflecting telescope also, but has a different kind of a mount and this is called an equatorial mount. And What's different about that is the mount is set up so that it points directly at the north celestial pole and then you can make adjustments to the object you want and follow it by just turning it on the axis of the celestial pole. Actually, this is another. This is a reflector. This is a small reflector on an equatorial mount. And this is how you would normally set it up in, uh, in, the, in the yard. So this is pointing toward the North Pole, the North Celestial Pole, and then the telescope can move on any of these axes uh, that you want it to and you can actually track. So here's a, here's a monster. This happens also to be a reflector. And this happens to be on a Dobsonian mount also. And this is, this is homemade by one of our members as well. He owned it for many years and donated it to us. And this has a 16 inch mirror. It's a very large telescope and we can take it out in the yard with the wheelbarrow wheels and it's quite impressive. It's the, the mirror in it was the mirror that we used to have in our big telescope in the uh, West Dome. 